As I sipped my coffee this morning, I took a browse through the workshop, as you do on a daily basis. And you need to, if you want to stay relevant in House of Iron 4, YouTube, um, you, 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 YouTube, you fit, you, YouTube stuff. And I come across quite an interesting one. Today, we're going to be playing as the Soviet Union, but Lenin! Vladimir Lenin is still alive in the world of House of Iron 4 now. So the mod does exactly what it says on the tin. It changes the Soviet Union leader to Lenin and also makes various other changes too. To watch out for that bourgeois plot. Um, as you can see, I'm going to play on Iron Man and historical AI focuses so we know that Russia, I mean Germany, will eventually come for us. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that I'm not quite with it when I haven't had coffee in the morning. I think we'll start off doing the update the constitution for some political period. But here we have Vladimir Lenin, triumphant revolutionary, which means justify walkout time of plus 15%, subversive activities cost minus 50%, and ideologically drift defense of plus 15%. And we'll see if he's able to match what Stalin did and hold off the German Reich. Now I know it's the base game, but I don't remember the Soviet Union having such few factories to begin with. Maybe I'm remembering this game incorrectly. I probably am, aren't I? Oh, well, here we go. Comrade Lenin. Some of our comrades dislike the fact that the city where the October Revolution has started still bears the name of the Tsar and a saint. Well, you know what? Leningrad sounds nice. I should probably name a city after myself, shouldn't I? Yes, there we go. Well, really named Tsarestin. Well, I don't think we'll... <laughs> well, Stalin isn't really that popular in the mod. So, we'll have Volograd. Sounds nice. I know Drew's going to hate me for insulting his papa. That's just a risk I'll have to take. So one of my most experienced, in fact the most experienced field marshal is now Leon Trotsky. He gives us supply consumption of minus 20%, organisation first, and he's also charismatic apparently. Well, I guess he'll lead my forces on the front. Oh well here's Joseph Stalin, he's only a level 2 general. Artillery attack, and he's of the old guard, but you know what, we'll give him a command. And I'm immediately going to send him down to the Republican Spain. My tanks immediately have taken their capital. So now we'll just go for the encirclement. And now I think I get on with the Red Terror to try and get rid of capitalism. And avoid a civil war. Bukharin defends the NEP. Arrest the traitor, use. I think we should arrest this traitor. Managed to do another encirclement. Well, let's just do collective propaganda, shall we? Increase our national unity. Done another encirclement, which I've encircled German... Japanese, Italian, and Spanish troops. And that's now done. Huzzah! We have helped the communists take power. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll take your your treaty. I think I might actually be ready for when the Germans declare war on me this time. I decided to make Joseph Stalin firmly in charge of all of my tank divisions from now on as he performed so well in the Spanish Civil War. Well, Germany continues to grow, and France and Britain are now in an alliance. Pretty much going as you'd expect from the base game. Oh, I'm going to push back hard. Oh, yeah. Hey! Good. Successful raid. Very good. So I currently have a similar amount of military factories to Germany, but they're about to gain some more. Damn, Germany getting all their free factories. I think we'll just get some claims on Poland. Try and take it before the Germans do, shall we? Oh, yep. Yeah, Germany took pretty much everything apart from Slovakia. Managed to get 1.6 million men in the field before we've had any war, which should put me in good stead against Mr. Hitler. Uh-oh. I'm going to say no deals with the fascists, and now I'm going to demand Eastern Poland. Yes. Come on, Poland. Accept it. Oh, because they're doing Danzig or war. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Poland's modernising their cavalry. Oh, <laughs> Always good, Poland. That's the way to do it. Let's begin the momental effort of upgrading all my infantry equipment. Oh, well, okay. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Fine. And, ah. Uh, Poland refuses to see the east. Damn you, Poland. And they're guaranteed. I don't really want to afford a war with the Allies. So I guess Germany will have to take it. Right. Well. Balls. Probably should change this to limited conscription, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, that manpower. Oh wow, Germany's going after everyone then, eh? Oh boy, oh no, oh god. Luxembourg's fallen, it's game over. Yes, I definitely think we need the human wave offensive. Oh god, 
Oh, look at France. Oh, that's not good. Well, that war is not going well for the Allies, is it? Ouch. Militarized schools. Let's let's get all the manpower. Oh, good lord. Well, that was a very quick capitulation. And that is a very thick axis by December 1939. I probably outnumber them in terms of divisions, I think. I think it might be time for me to go on the offensive. I can't stand by while fascism takes over the world. It's time for Lenin to show what he's made of. That is a lot of tanks they have on my border. Uh, that's quite concerning. But I think it's got to be do or die. Hopefully it's not die. It appears I misclicked and I'm at war with Poland. And I'm on Iron Man. Brilliant. Well, that was not... That was not the plan. I don't know. Oh, feck. So I'm at war with the Allies, too. Oh, Republican Spain wants to join. Yes. Come on in. Oh. Oh. It's just the UK that entered. Okay. You're capitulated, Poland. I don't understand. I can't believe that one misclick might cost me the whole game. But, it looks like the German right's taking a lot of casualties on my line. While they're pushing, I guess I'll push back. Off you go, chaps. Let's see what those Germans are made of, shall we? The Germans have actually taken more casualties than me, which is quite a surprise. However, they are still pushing. Yeah, they are still pushing in certain fronts. Not a whole lot I can do about that at the moment. I really did screw myself over by that misclick by declaring war on Poland. Uh, why? I do have some medium tanks now, though, so hopefully we can push back through their lines. Oh, balls. Now I'm at war with Romania. This is a pain in the ass. I'll have to send just my tanks to help out at the moment. Uh, and maybe another few divisions down here. Oh, dear. It appears... Oh, uh, it appears they've been encircled. But I'm hoping along the rest of the line I can hold. If not, they're all gonna... Well, they're all gonna die. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I'm quite good, good that he survived the assassination attempt. I didn't know there was one on him. Their equipment... The German equipment in the field, though, is, is quite atrocious. Hey, there we go. Welcome to the Union, Tana Tuva. Off you go. Waste yourselves on the German lines. It is the only option. Aha! Uh -huh, the encircled... The, the, the encirclers have become the encircled. Oh, I forgot the allies can come up through the Raj, can't they? God, 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 oh, feck! It scares me how close I am to losing Kiev, but at least I have the level 7 forts here. I'm not sure how they're doing it, but Republican Spain is somehow striking back. I'm just trying to... Oh, looks like... Oh, they've landed there too. Okay. Well, it might not be over yet. It certainly seems that way at the moment, though. I am struggling. I thought I'd made a push through here and locked out this front, but I forgot that they all joined the Axis too, stupid hungry. So, a little bit of a status update. I'm pushing into northern Germany, but I'm getting pushed back everywhere else. This is actually quite a desperate fight down here. It's not looking good. I'm just trying to hold, and I am taking back uh, Sevastopol though. My tanks are doing a good old job at just penetrating their lines there. And somehow, Romanian infantry are pushing back my tank divisions. I, I don't... Oh, okay. No, I, I can push back, it seems. I just don't know what the Romanians have. But whatever they have, I want it because they're just constantly forcing me back. Good lord, Romania. It's just it's just an absolute whitewash. I can't hold them anywhere. Yeah, it's all red lines. Wherever, wherever the Romanians attack, it, it's just an absolute whitewash. I actually can't defeat the Romanians. Well, having to resort to the defense of Moscow now. Adding 28 force in and around Moscow. Oh, well, look. I have a couple of green tiles here. Ah, <sighs> looks like Moscow won't fall just yet. Made a uh, little... Uh, I don't know. I've made something happen down here, though, which I was not expecting. However, it's resulted in absolute medlam. So I think this may be my last hazard, but I'm going to try and do a beeline for Bucharest and see if I can capitulate them. Or just... I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I've been recording for so long now. 
It appears my counter attack has been halted. Moscow still holds, though. Oh, no. I think I might lose Moscow. Well, Moscow's fallen. And I have no way of getting it back. I've taken 8 million casualties, and I'm pretty close to capitulation. Oh. Oh, that fell as well. Okay, I lost my gains. That was pretty much my battle of the bulge. Going through the Crimea. Well, I don't think you need to see me get destroyed anymore, so... I'll sign off for today. But this is what happens when Lenin decides to declare war on the Allies accidentally. But if you've enjoyed me losing for once, it does still happen, I assure you. Make sure to leave a like. And leave a like for, well, Lenin if you want. See you next time, Toodle Pip! Hashtag blame Romania. Many thanks to iSorry Productions, Shack Attack, Travis, Miss Lexicon, Adam, John, Blade, Ultimate, James, Logan, The Danimal, Mike, Zazzy, and Wyatt for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too.